Good morning, everybody. It's Leanne Graff with today's live class. Just getting my camera focused in here. Okay. All right. So every Tuesday, 11 a.m., I have a free class on my Facebook page. And, of course, it's always uh, recorded and, and uploaded to YouTube. So whether you're watching on Facebook or on YouTube, you can see, see it and um, over and over. So if you are on not on Facebook, or if you are on Facebook and you're not following me, you're welcome to see me on my Flower Bugs Ink Spot page, and then you can catch everything live. So, good morning. Hi, Sharon. First one on today. Okay, all right. I think I got my laptop all synced up, so I'm seeing comments. And so this is the, these are the prizes for last week's video. So on Facebook, if you comment or share, you will uh, be in the drawing for a prize. So this week's prize, prizes, or I should say last week's video, were a package of blue adhesive back gems for a person who comments. And for somebody who shared, it's a set of five cards, and some of them are fun fold cards that you can use for ideas so or or use them for whatever you want but this is the prizes so the winners of these two are and i think i think one of them is on already i think i see so do you feeling lucky let's see i'm gonna just gonna go back and comments and see if the other one is on yet because they're both very faithful viewers so the winners are carol koraleski and Melinda Blevin. So Melinda won the gems and Carol won the cards. So congratulations, I know Melinda's watching right now. So I don't know if I spelled your name right. It might be an E, I can't remember. <laughs> congratulations, Carol and Melinda. So I'll be sending those to you. I messaged you both asking for your, uh, your mailing address. So please um, get back to me so I can send that. Yeah, it looks like I did spell it right, Melinda. You're welcome. You're very welcome. So thank you for commenting and sharing. I appreciate that. Just a little tip. This is my prize or my free gift for somebody who places an order over $55 using a host code. This is my current current host code. So what's really exciting is tomorrow, and I forgot to print out the flyer, but tomorrow is free shipping on all orders over $75. So you'll get free shipping and a uh gift for me these are the in color pearls that are available right now in the annual catalog so yeah tomorrow is an awesome day if you have been saving up maybe you are waiting to place an order on with for the designer series paper that's on sale 15 percent off all of our papers in the annual catalog not the specialty but the regular papers for 1250 uh, the gingham is regularly 1050 and the Delightful Eclectic is regularly $30, but down to $25.50. And this is the best deal of all because you get 48 sheets for $25.50. So these are 12 sheets for $12.50. So you can see the math there. You get four times the amount for just half the price. So, so yeah, great deal on the Delightfully Eclectic, which I shared projects last week. So if you want to look at my video either go back on my Facebook or on my YouTube channel and you'll see last week's fun fold cards um, using the Delight for the Eclectic. So yeah, free shipping is tomorrow. All orders over $75 will receive free shipping. So very exciting, I love that when they do that. Okay, uh, I want to reiterate, I know I've been talking about it a lot, but this is our big annual stamping and scrapbooking sale that is huge and people have started to bring stuff um to my house and my garage i can't park in my in my garage anymore it is stacked floor to table underneath the tables and above the tables we have over 30 sellers it says 35 i think we have 32 this year so yeah actually katie mine is doing the same thing my screen is flashing green i do not know why maybe i don't have a good internet connection i hope it goes away so I don't know why that's doing that. So I, that's probably on my end. And I don't know what else I can do about that. So hopefully it goes away. Sorry about that. But anyway, if you are in North Dakota or South Dakota, Montana, um, Minnesota, 
I would highly recommend a road trip because it is amazing sale. Um, we sell over $4,000 in items and many of them are marked 25 cents to a dollar. So I'll just have to tell you, there are ridiculous prices. So last time I can talk about it because it is this Friday, well, Saturday. My customers can shop early Friday night. But, um, oh good, I'm glad yours isn't flashing, Jean. Well, it must be, wonder why it's just Katie's and mine. <laughs> okay, all right. So the prize for next week's, uh, this week's video is a set of magenta um, blends. And this is the prize for, let's see, for commenting. This is for sharing. And this is some foil paper, some gold and copper and a ribbon share. So this is for sharing. This is for commenting. So be sure to do that um, to get in on next week's prize drawing. Okay. All right. So we're going to be playing with, and I have some... I have swaps for my team to share at the end of my video. And, well, you know what, I'm gonna do this right now. I was going through some drawers, cleaning out uh, from for the rummage sale, because I'm selling a little bit of stuff, not a lot, but I I, I don't know what to do with this. I, I'm Unfortunately, I'm not a scrapbooker. So this is what I received when I had my million dollars sales achievement. So this beautiful, um, I guess it's a card, but it was wrapped around my box, my gift. I think it was my bag. I had a purse that I that I earned, that they gave me, gifted me, and it's just so beautiful. And this is, of course, it's retired product now, but um, yeah, I just think it's so beautiful, and I wanted to share. I don't know if I'm going to keep it. These, I might turn these into cards. This one was on a bigger card. I was able to trim it off. So I thought that was really pretty. And this was a, a, a pull-up little thing that Shelly and Sarah sent me. So they, they really go above and beyond when you reach your million dollars in sales. So just gorgeous. And I know Shelly and Sarah didn't make these. I'm sure their artists, artisans did that or the creators there. But they do such a fabulous job. All the details. And they stick, obviously, to one suite. So, so yeah, I just thought I'd share those again. It's, it's a fond memory of our time in Utah when we received all that. So, yeah, okay, so that I wanted to share. All right, we're gonna get into our products that I'm featuring. I'm gonna feature the masterfully made 12 by 12 designer paper, which is reduced price from 12.50 to 10.62 in June. The other thing I'm going to feature is the, oh, let me, oh, I do have to put, talk about one more thing. Wanted to say dye. So this is a set, feel better soon, you're too kind, celebrate, and happy birthday, and then all the little extras that are in this set. So I used, I think, all but one in today's cards. So I'll show you some ideas for this and some tips. See if I can get that back. And I added my dyes to, I added magnets to mine, so they're a little bit thick now to go back in the the envelope. The other thing I'm going to use is the oh god basic basic border dies. So here are the dies where I cut them apart because you can see they stitch on both sides. Hopefully you can see that how they stitch on both sides. So you have two sides. I didn't do this one. I don't think this one does as well. But we're going to use this one and this one today. These two and show you. Um, well, at least the, the negative and positive on this one. So I use that a lot. I love the basic border dies. They're one of my favorites. Okay, so before I get on, I did want to go over the low inventory and out of stock inventory because if some of you are going to um, order tomorrow on the free shipping day, you need to know what's available. So cheerful, day, these are out of stock right now. They'll be back, but they are out of stock. Um, cheerful daisy dies. Crafting with You dies, Hey Chuck dies, Gone Fishing, Little Dreamers, and Earthen Texture dies. Lots of dies gone, unfortunately, um, out of stock. So very popular. Gold Distress Paper and Natural Wavy Trim are also out of stock. So Low Inventory, Beautiful Balloons dies, and Timeless Arrangement dies, some of my favorites. In Color Dots, and quite a few of our new colors of blends. 
So, um, so yeah, there are a lot of the blends are are uh, uh, low in inventory, not gone, but low in inventory. And just a reminder that exploring in color cards and envelopes are still available. They're still on on the Paper Pumpkin online store um, for ten dollars for eighteen cards and eighteen envelopes. Okay, let's get playing with the new stuff. So. <laughs> Only one of my cards has stamping in it. It's kind of crazy. I can't quite believe I did that, but I did. Um, okay, so here is here is the measurements, and here is the card. So you can see my greeting is just the die cuts, and this is the masterfully made designer paper, and I didn't do anything into the inside on this one. I don't know why, but let's get to making this one. You'll see some tips. The, I'm gonna use the, what do you call that? Huh. Oh, did I bring the paper? Yes, adhesive sheets, because these can get a little tricky to, to adhere. So of course, after I um, die cut this one, I realized I should use the adhesive sheets. So <laughs> these, this one does not use them, but the other one, I think one of them will. Okay, so how I do this. My card base is Lemon Lime Twist. And what you wanna do is adhere this, and I don't know if there's an up or a down on this. This one looks better, so we'll use this. So this masterfully made paper, some of the sheets have kind of a torn look on the paper. Very in style right now. So yeah, it's it might not be your jam, as they say, but it um, it's very in style. So let's just uh, now I have this trim. This is the what is this one called? Um, Ribbon Duo Combo Pack. So what I do is cut a little bit too long. And you've seen me do this before, find the right side. So the right side of your dies has kind of a rougher edge because this, the, it, it loops over on the end and then of course the dots are um, reversed and kind of on the pushed in. You'll feel, once you do it, you'll feel it. So I'm not going to wrap my bow around here, but I am going to wrap the ribbon. Okay. All right, so that's on there. And now I'm just gonna tie a bow, my usual bunny ears bow. I, I stamped one thing today, one thing, and I have ink on my fingers, just one. <laughs> oh, it's funny how you can prove what you've been doing when you're a stamper. Usually you can see the ink, it's very apparent. All right, so I love this, love this, um, this ribbon. Okay, now we can glue that on. Okay, and like I say, ribbon and mini glue dots are best friends. Always use uh, mini glue dots for your ribbons, in my opinion. Just a no-brainer. So we'll put this one on like that. Okay. All right, so now for this. This die cuts, the bottom stays together and the top one comes apart. So I don't, and this is why I forget to use my adhesive sheets because I don't really mind using the liquid glue because I'm pretty good at getting just a smear on the letters. It, it, it doesn't, um, I don't know, sometimes I do get a little gluey, but um, I don't know, I don't have too much trouble with it. If you do, I'll show you the adhesive sheets in a bit, and you'll see you may just fall in love with them for little die cuts. That you, oh, I did miss a little bit of green on there. I didn't notice that when I cut that out. Oh, this one has a little, circle in the K we want to get out first. So when I, one thing you've probably seen me do it before is when I add adhesive, I smear. I, I maybe add dots and then 
I push them with the lid of the glue so they're not a big dot that's going to um, ooze out. Okay, so I think what I'm gonna do, I didn't do this on the other one, but I have my minis, my mini dimensionals. I think I will pop these up. One thing you can do is as you're putting them down, put a little crease in the backing and how easy it is to remove that backing once you do that. They just peel right off. So you can also, of course, use your poker tool to get the backing off, but that's pretty easy to do. And I kind of liked it at an angle, so hopefully it doesn't bother you too much. Now, this is one of the die cuts. It's a little triple heart, and I wanted them separate. So I went ahead and trimmed them. I might keep the one together just for something different. And then I have to make sure it's smooth. And boy, it's really hard to see that as you're cutting um, because it's so tiny and I have bifocals. So, <laughs> so yeah, I think I'll just leave that one together just for speed's sake. And I usually, in fact, I'm going to do that. Usually add my adhesive to where I'm adding it and not just a small little dot. Okay, and then the inside, my usual three and a half wide. I know the colors are pretty. Now this is Cherry Cobbler. Um, I, I was looking and it's not even listed, but there's not as much rich, rich Razzleberry, which is the color listed in this um, paper. But I found that um, this matched cherry better. Real red would probably also work, but I thought cherry worked best. So there's the first card. All right, okay, next. All right, we're going to do, hopefully I have it together. We're gonna switch papers on this one. Oh, I just got a, a little gem that stuck to me. So this is a feel better soon. And this one uses this paper right here. Okay, so I thought this was fabulous. Now, one thing that's unusual about this card, you'll, you'll be impressed with this idea. At least I was impressed by it. <laughs> so here's the card base. So when you cut this off, you have this other piece. We're gonna use it on the next card. So this is the, the, this card right here, as you can see. But what do you do with this? So I'm gonna show you what, what you do with the other part. You get two cards from one die cut. Now remember, that is from this one right here. You can see there's two pieces because it stitches on both sides with the basic border dies. All right, so to put this together, I'm gonna to use this one this time, and I don't know, maybe I'll put the green up on top. So what I like to do here is get this on my card, see how much is gonna be over. Let me scoot that aside. And add, adhere the front. I can see it's a little bit longer than my card base, so I'm gonna do a little trimming. My, I didn't bring my paper trimmer over, but I'm going to wing it. There you go. Get that to mind a little bit better. All right, so another one where I did not use the adhesive sheets, but I'm gonna show you those in next. Like I say, I don't really have a big problem doing a little bit of smear, even on these skinny little things. I just kind of pull the adhesive um, with me as I go. And I don't do it everywhere. You don't need it everywhere. Just here and there on a few of the outer areas. So that's good. And the hardest thing is not to get full of glue. So this is, again, Rich Razzleberry with uh, Lemon Lime Twist. Can't talk and glue at the same time. Okay, how, I mean, that's pretty fast, right? Again, I could pop this up I don't think I'm going to this time. I'm just gonna do it. Okay. This card is so fast. 
I love that it's vertical. We do not have that many verticals. So let's see how I want to do this. I cut two of each and these flowers are in the dies. Let's see. They are right here. That's the flower use. And there's a stem too, but I didn't feel the need to use the stem. I think that's the only thing I did not use on these dies. And I really like having one kind of right on that greeting. Mm, I think that one has to go there because this one matches the paper there too, too much. A little bit of blue, less is more. Okay, and the last thing is to add um, gems. Now this is the four pack of the tinsel gems. There's a three pack and a four pack. So yeah, I'm gonna do the pink. pink and it fits right in the hole left by the die cut. And then I'll do, oops, that one stuck to my finger. I'm still gluey. Okay, and then we'll do a lemon lime. And if that's a stay. <laughs> oh. Okay, there are the cards. Which ones do you like better? They are very, very different depending on the designer paper that you use. And of course, this one is Fresh Freesia with rich razzleberry not a combo i would choose but it really works when the paper pulls it together and um this one of course is rich razzleberry with lemon lime twist so i love this card i think it's really pretty okay we're gonna use the other part of this die now that i cut off on the next one so very easy card when you use that and the other side is also matching and pretty so oh the stamp that I use, I'm not going to do it, but it is from the Lasting Joy stamp set. I'm hoping for better days ahead. I think it works so well for somebody who's going through a rough time, something where you just don't know what to say. Um, Lasting Joy is that stamp set. Okay, last card for today. And this one I'm going to show you the adhesive sheets. So the adhesive sheets come in a big uh, six by 12 sheets. You get 12 of them. And this is a piece of white cardstock. I think it was, well, it was 11 inches, but I added another inch too. So this is the actual paper on the back. It has um, lines in it to remove. I don't see the other part of the line, but, but right here you just peel, and this is really, really sticky. So this is what it comes like, and well, maybe it isn't quite six by. I don't know which where I got this sheet. It might have been cut down. But when you put your uh, paper on it, so you want to grab a piece of cardstock. Let's just pretend this is a full piece of cardstock. Don't put it on the side that has the tear away. You, um, well, actually, yes, you do. You put it on this side, and you put your cardstock on there. P pretend it's a full piece. And then you will die cut and it will be sticky on the other side. Okay, so, all right, so adhesive sheets. And there, I believe there's directions in the package and they're in the annual catalog. Okay, so our card, and this one is the celebrate card. Here it are the directions. So here's our card, there's the inside, no stamping not a single stamp in here so yeah this designer paper is so pretty very different each piece is and it has a little little tiny bit of writing or typing in the font in with the with the typing font in the background very hard to see but it does help you know which way's up <laughs> oh they learned that the hard way okay so i used azure afternoon as my card base whoa i just dropped some stars this is the inside. So this is the piece I use when I die cut. I had this already done. This is white cardstock adhered to my adhesive sheet. So it's, it was already white, so I didn't have to do much. I was able to cut out all these three things from my adhesive um, sheet. 
Okay, so how we're going to change designer paper. There's the main card. And to adhere that, and I have to decide which way I want it. So here's the other part of that card. Isn't that just clever? Now you can lower that if you want and give a little bit more of the blue. I like that, where you see um, the colors that coordinate like that. So I think I'll do it that way. All right, so this, first I'm gonna bone fold it. Make sure my edges match so it stays. Basically, I say it's going to mind. Okay, so this can go on first. It's got a little navy in here, too. Okay, and this will go on next. I can see I'm a little bit over the edge on this, and that's the wrong side. You have, sometimes it's hard to tell. I had to look pretty closely. want a little bit of a drop down. Now when I'm done with this card, I can see, I'm not gonna do this one by hand, but there's just a little bit hanging off. Well, actually, you know what? That shouldn't be too hard. Use the side of the card as your guide. I'm into the white now, so it's a little thicker. There, that's pretty good. I didn't have to cut off much, but it was bothering me. All right, so I'm gonna use a yellow strip in this on this sun and put that right there and then the celebrate's going to go on top of that so i'm going to scoot my happy birthday away and adhere this it's a little bit thicker than the other one it's about a quarter of an inch i don't always measure i am going to This one needs to come down just a little bit. There we go. Okay, now to put these together, you, you it helps to have a poker tool and kind of grab that backing from the adhesive sheets. Oh, and I can see that it cut. There was a, a <laughs> my luck right down the middle of it. That's where the cut line was. And this stuff is sticky. So, um, yeah. Now I'm going to see if I can get the rest of it on that. And I bet the rest I'm going to have to do individual because that's where the cut line was. I was very unlucky with that. Now I have to do each individual piece by hand to make it stick. I don't know if I need that one. Just use your poker and kind of get under that backing and it is extremely sticky see if there's some yep there's some right there and there's probably some on this r but i think i can get away without that all right so what do you think is that easier because one thing i have a problem with on these skinny little things is it distorts the shape just a little bit. So you have to be a little more creative in getting this to the right spot. And you may want to use a tweezers. I'm trying to push this down without making it adhere. Okay, there we go. So, you know, what do you think? Is that easier than glue? I get people that do not like our liquid glue I think would say yes, definitely easier. So I think this one, the rest should be better. Yeah, this took, took the whole thing off and it stuck. So that's a bonus. So that's how it should go. <laughs> Much easier. Now I still have the center in here we wanna get rid of, but that also pulls up. Let's see if I can do the same thing. You hold on to that, pull that off, yes. So much easier. So don't cut on a line on the adhesive sheets. Your life will be much, uh, much more pleasant. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna put the celebrate, and I kind of liked it on that line, but one of my problems was is it showed through the C, and I didn't like that. So I'm gonna show you what I'll do. Um, 
the stars work very well for that purpose. You can see that's why I have that star on there. I put this, and I didn't want it too high, but that just bothered me. So we're going to put this right there. It worked. And you know what I did? Um, I wanted it popped up just a little bit. Well, when I do that, I use a mini glue dot and I just push it and roll it until it's kind of in a ball. And you don't have to, especially don't want to add it where the large star is, or that star, I should say, because that's the one that's going to go on the C. And then it's already popped up there, so I don't want to distort it. So those rolled up little glue dots um, really help to lift just slightly, just slightly lifted. Isn't that cool? And then this one and the one I dropped on the floor <laughs> will, let's see if I can find that. Oh, it's on my leg. Okay, so this one is connected. That one I, took, I cut apart. I'm gonna do the same thing and not cut it apart. So a little bit of adhesive. I could have used my adhesive sheets on this one as well, but I forgot. Okay, that's the front. We also are going to add, thank you, I'm glad you like it. I'm gonna add a few of these iridescent rhinestones. I thought that um, that really added, oh, there's a kitty hair on there. A little bit of bling for a celebratory card. I won't add quite as many on this one. Just add three. Okay, so for the inside, in the pack, um, in the dies, there is a present die and a bow. So I thought, well, I have to add that to the inside of the card. Let's do the, the greeting first. I'm going to save room for a signature. So I'll put this fairly high. And since it's on the blue card, I'm going to do the yellow on the bottom. And I debated, do I stack the presents? I suppose if I popped one up, it might show a little bit better. I'm just gonna put the, the adhesive on the bottom of this bow so it adheres to the box. But I kind of like that, a stack of presents. And again, I don't wanna pop it up a lot inside, but maybe just a little. So I'm gonna use a rolled up glue dot just on the upper outer areas where it won't be up on top of the yellow one. Oops, wrong, wrong upper, right there. And what I can do, just to adhere it well, is add just a little adhesive there that'll grab the bottom part of the present. There you go. Okay, so that goes on in the inside. No stamping, all die cuts. I usually like to stamp, but it is fun how, how versatile these dies are for adding some fun greetings. So there we go. Which one do you like better? Florals and, so this could be a guy card easily. This one not as much because of the florals. So yeah. That is the finished card, and let me show you all three of them in case you just joined us. So here is this one, here is that one, and this one is exactly the same. I didn't do anything different well, except for the, the hearts. So those are the cards we made today. If you're just joining us, I used three, I focused on three products. One is, these are the Wanted to Say dies, brand new in the annual catalog. This is the basic borders that I use on the bottom edge of this card right here. And this one is for this one and this one. So double duty. This piece right here was what I cut off from this full card base. So really fun way to use your dies. And then of course, the masterfully made 12 by 12 designer paper. So it does have a few, oh, about half of the pieces are torn look, 
very 3D-ish. This paper in particular, particularly looks like the flower is just popped up. It's so 3D. Really love this one. This one makes you think of Spider-Man. Interesting. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Okay. All right. So I do want to share our monthly team swaps with you. We had a team meeting this, um, this weekend and I thought I'd share that with you. Now, you'll get the gist on these cards um, later this week on my blog. I think it's this week I'm gonna be sharing. But I'm very proud to share my team cards. So this is made by Candy using the Zoo Crew um, and Zany Zoo bundle, or Zoo Crew Suite, I believe. Look at her coloring, it's just gorgeous. So this is a book binding fold. She colored every one of these little flowers to match the flower on the little tutu. Really cute. Mary made this one using the uh, Inked Botanicals uh, designer paper. That's Mary's. This one is super cool. So it looks like a regular gatefold card. It's a little off center. I'll be giving the measurements on my blog, but it's, you see this, how it catches? It's a latch card. And look how she made the designer paper on the inside coordinate, perfectly centered. And you just simply uh, bend that in there and it fo folds closed. I love when gatefold cards stay closed like that. Super smart. This is the, oh gosh, um, it's a it's a punch. So it's a stamp set that was in the spring catalog that carried over to the annual catalog. But it's, it's a new punch with leaves and hearts in the punch. That one, and I shared this one last week. This was mine. So this one uses the um, inked and tiled square, uh, Punches, I guess I should say. This one was made by Paula. Love the monochromatic look she did. She folded part of the card base back on itself, added designer paper everywhere. This is the same, obviously the same paper, inked uh, botanicals, and she heat embossed the greeting. This one was made by Annette, oh, Nature's Prints, I believe, and she used that, what is that called? It's now out of stock. Natural Wavy Tram. This is what's out of stock right now, but this is our new ooh, copper, right? I think this is the new copper clay color, I think. <laughs> and Sharon made this one using the Beautiful Balloons Bundle, and she used that um, specialty, uh, what do you call this, window sheets that's printed with gold. So really, aren't they neat cards? So I, I'm missing, I'm, I'm missing one. Oh shoot. Oh, here it is. Jenny's. So yeah, I didn't take it out of the envelope yet. This is Jenny's using the paper we used today, the Masterfully Made. And she used the bundle that goes with it. It has that die there, this pretty die. And she did a vellum die as well. And that's the greeting die, very different. Kind of a torn edge look and she stamped the inside. Oh, this bundle is on my list. I'm trying not to get it, <laughs> but she may have pushed me over the edge. So those are our swap cards for June from my team. So yeah, they're very, very talented. Okay, and then I do want to reiterate that there are just a few left of this month's kits to go. I'm ordering the product um, tomorrow, so you have to get in. I think I have four or five of this one, the Ink Botanicals. Again, there's a few fun folds on this in this bunch, a few techniques. You just need greetings. So I use the Layering Leaves greetings on here, but you can use whatever you like. And only two colors of ink, Calypso Coral and Lost Lagoon. And did you know that if you have Peacock and you stamp off, you get Lost Lagoon? Just saying. You can always stamp off and get another hue of color for your, your cards, so remember that. The other one I have, oh, I think there's three left of this one, and these are all fun folds. I made this card a few weeks ago. Here's an easy fun fold, and this one's upside down. <laughs> there we go. It helps to have this stamp set, but you don't need it. This is the beautiful balloons. If you want to add it, just let me know. Remember, everything's cut for you on my, my um, kits. All you need to do is stamp. And most times I use greetings. This time I decorated the insides with some of the stamps in the kit. 
but all your dies are cut for you, all your layers are cut for you, everything but your new designer paper that you get a whole pack of. This one's kind of fun. Oh, look at this. So see how, that, like I like, I told you I like latch cards. So this is just, you flick that underneath the balloon and your, your fun fold card stays closed. So fun idea. So remember you get all those pre-cut. Here's another one that does the same thing. So this one kind of catches in between. So that's uh, my kits to go on this shop, right? This, uh, myflowerbookshop.com. Place an order, please do use my host code. Tomorrow's free shipping on orders over 75. And if you're local, let me know, I'll order for you. Just send me, or even long distance. I just need all of your card information if I have to order for you. All right, thank you so much. If you missed it, we use these uh, products today. Hi, Susan, you, uh, you are late, but you can always go back and watch it. So we used these products and made three beautiful cards, if I must say so. All right, we'll see you next week. Um, there, I hope to do a Monday Night Live next week. I believe it's the 25th, 26th. Um, so I will let you know and post it ahead of time on my Facebook page if I can get that live in. With the big sale happening this weekend, it keeps me very, very busy. So Friday, Saturday are super busy, uh, actually all week because people are dropping off their stuff. So anyway, thank you very much. I hope to um, see you next time. All right, take care. Bye-bye.